Praise the Lord, everybody. We have Jaden Arnold in the studio. What's up, y'all? So with Jaden Arnold's in the studio, y'all know we we gotta get some we gotta get some of these chords, some of these movements, some of these transitions. Uh, let's do a hymn. Let's do what a friend we have in Jesus. Uh, before we do that, let's get started with prayer. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We honor you. We ask for your help and your strength, Father God. We ask that you just give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to pour back into your people so they'll be able to receive something. In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. All right. My brother, it's on you. Like, you know, and I got a lot of people that ain't really like they haven't really been to church per se. Uh this is crazy. Is the hall on? Did you want that on? I didn't know it was on. Yeah, I don't even know if you can. Uh but when I tell you they literally fell down and just worshiped. They stayed on that floor for a minute. Uh Okay, we gotta dive into this song. You did some different things that was just insane. So, I, quick question: We're in F sharp, right? 
Mm-hmm. So F sharp is the one, A flat is the two, B flat is the three, B is the four, C sharp is the five, E flat is the six, F is the seven, F sharp is the one. Back with the one, G flat, however you want to locate it. If you didn't know your scale, your number system, I, I would recommend that you don't watch this video. Because what he's about to show you is pretty advanced. Because that was insane, okay? <laughs> You might want to go back and learn the number system before you get this. So let, let's dive into it. So you started off uh, traditional, kind of in a sense. Uh, really quick settings on the, because a lot of people have been asking about your settings, how you got the uh, your drawbar settings, yeah. how you got that, and then you use the swell, which is the uh, what is it, the vibrato, I yep. guess. Uh, Let's look at that all that real quick before we get into the chords of the song. Your setting right now, when you started off, is that your setting that you started off with? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So I have the first four. Um, I'll bring the two. All the way out? Yeah, these two all the way out and just bring these up and then just a little bit of beat. Okay, got you. So, that the fourth, so the six is out just a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I noticed you didn't put the last one out, which is the... What do they call that? The one? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm gonna learn it for y'all. Yeah, uh, I I'm should know learn that. It. I promise y'all. I'm gonna learn it, and I'm gonna. I'm just not the organist. But that one, the last one down here, I noticed at some point you pulled it out just a little bit. Yeah. And it gives it a brighter tone. Yep. All right. So we're going to push that back. Oh, I didn't mean to push it all the way back. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So now let's start off with now. You use the uh, the vibrato, and you got it on yep. C3. Do mm-hmm. you usually keep it on the C3? Yep, C3. So you don't use V1 or none of those? Uh, it depends. Funeral. It depends. I could go. have, yeah. Funeral, you going V1? Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of that, okay, let's let's get into it. So now we got what a friend. So let's go through the chords. Let's just, and, and once again, we're not going to, because we'll be here for three hours on this one song if we, spell out every chord, so I'm going to have them hold it down, so, and, and the chord names are on there, so you'll see the chord names, but let's just hold it down, uh, the first three notes, is there any bass, so you play without the bass at first, yep. perfect, now you bring in the bass, and that's the flat seven, mm-hmm.
us the show us just some crazy stuff that it, it was crazy. Part. You, on the first part, was it the first part or was it the second part? Mm-hmm. 